Good evening, everybody. We are coming to you live from Congregation Beth El in Missouri City, Sugarland, Texas. And we are about to talk about way number 44, which corresponds with the 44th day of the counting of the Omer. Now, as you'll recall, um, this morning we spoke about way number 43, and it was with making sure that you put what you learn into action. Today we're going to, 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 to add to that with way number 44, and that is, Sho'elu Meshiv, Shomea Umosif. So first is, ask and answer, and then goes, listen and add. Okay, so one of the fundamental principles in maximizing life is ask. We mentioned this earlier. But there's a difference between just asking questions and trying to gain something from the questions you're asking. Meaning, before you ask the question, try to think of the answer yourself. Don't run and ask the question. Say to yourself, you know what? What do I think is the answer? And then go and ask the question and see if they match up. If they don't match up, then you ask, why didn't they match up? Right? It's one of the, one of the fundamental uh, principles that we've learned uh, in yeshiva, and that is that before you ask the question to your rabbi, you, sh- you yourself should think of the answer. And then once you come up with your own answer, then think of, uh, then, then, uh, then ask the question, and then try to understand why your answer to the question didn't match up to your rabbi's answer to the question. And that way you can learn how to think like a pious Jew. Now you can learn how to think like a, you know, think of it. It's in any industry. You're an engineer. So you ask the professional engineer who's been there for 30 years, you ask him, well, why are you doing this? But before you ask, try to think of the answer yourself. And then if you come up with the wrong answer, by what this uh, tenured uh, uh, engineer uh, said. So then try to see why, what you missed over here. And then you can ask questions on it. But the idea is don't just ask questions without even thinking yourself for the answers. So that's number one. Number two, the second part of this way, is listen and add. So we know there's a fundamental principle, is we have to, we learned this in way number two, which is to listen. But more important than just listening, is try to add something to it. Trend is something. So it doesn't just stay as an abstract piece of wisdom, but you try to add something to it from your own, oh, I hear. So according to this, right, and you can add, you can connect it to something else, you can, you, that's really the way a scholar, a wise person, any person who's trying to invest time into their own personal growth will always try to find a way to add something to the things that they're, they're hearing. Right? Don't just get face value. Right? We need to ask the right questions and we need to try to answer them ourselves. Ask other people compare your answer to, the, to theirs. And if it was right, great. If it wasn't, try to investigate why. And then we have listen and add. Listen to what other people say, and then try to add your own wisdom to it as well. Add on to it so you can gain. You know what? You go to a lecture, and the rabbi talks about a topic, or you go to a, 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 you hear a professor speak about a certain topic. Don't just suffice with the wisdom they impart. Go home, Ask Rabbi Google, or go someplace else, you know, uh, go to an encyclopedia, open up a page of Talmud, right? Go, go investigate yourself. Add to the wisdom that you learn from others. Don't just be pleased. Well, he's a professional, he knows, he told me what it is, and that's it. No, 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 no. Go look at it for your own, for your own sake. Now, I want to add one other component here. My grandfather used to tell us a very important thing. He says, before you go, it's easy, it's very easy, at least when you're in your yeshiva, you can go to a rabbi who's very knowledgeable. You're a high school or a or post, just immediately post high school, the first or second year after high school, which is like a, an intense yeshiva slash college program. And it's very easy. You can go over to one of the rabbis and you can ask him a question. 
And he'll give you the answer on the spot. He'll tell you exactly where it is. He can tell you exactly what page it's on. I mean, he knows they know their stuff. Real scholars. Or, my grandfather says, you can try to find it yourself. Now, what's the benefit of finding it yourself? Do you know that if I tell you, uh, you know, why don't you look it up? It's in the book. It's right over there. It's about page number, anywhere between 50 and 60, right? What will happen is, is that you will start searching. In the process of searching, you will learn 20, 30 things that you may never have known. And that's the, the process of learning through asking that question. You're trying to find the answer yourself, right? It will help you very, very much. Try to search for the answer yourself so that you're not only relying on other people to contribute to your wisdom, but you yourself are taking an initiative to gain, the, gain wisdom, to add to the wisdom that other people are imparting to you. So with that, my friends, that is way number 44. Don't forget to always ask. There's no such thing, you know, in all of our classes, all, all, all the classes we offer at Torch, and all of the classes, uh, all of the places we go to, uh, we always encourage asking questions. And, uh, you know, people say, oh, a stupid question. Is it, Rabbi, do you mind? No, 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 no. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Every question is a great question, and every question deserves an answer. And we try to do our very best, if we know the answer, to answer. And if we don't know the answer, we say, I don't know. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you with an answer. So, yes, we should be asking the questions. We should be searching ourselves for answers. And then ask someone else um, for their advice, for their wisdom, and then try to try to see that your, yours matches theirs. That concludes way number 44, which corresponds to the 44th day of the Omer, which was counted last night. Tonight, we're going to count the night that precedes way 44, and we'll talk about that, that, about that way, which is way number 45, um, soon after we're able to make a blessing uh, for the counting of the Omer, which is after nightfall, and then we will resume way number 45. With that, my friends, we part from you on Facebook. But we can continue this connection if you like and share this video so that all of your friends can learn as well and connect through Torah study and the holy words of our sages in the Mishnah. With that, have a lovely evening, and I look forward to seeing you later tonight with way number 45.